All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your SmackDown review for June 30th, 2023. It was a better show than last week. Roman Reigns is back, and I like the interaction between LA Knight and Logan Paul for like probably one or two minutes. But everything else was just fucking shit. Nothing really, it's just pretty much fucking boring the rest of the show outside of those two things. So, you know, that's pretty much it. Before I get to that, I got an update on Randy Orton from Kurt Angle, the legend. It says here, uh, he claims that Orton has recovered from his injury. He may, might be back in the ring pretty damn soon. Uh, Cowboy Bob Orton, he said that doctors told his son that he couldn't wrestle again, or he shouldn't wrestle. And then he told he hasn't been, he's been out since May of 20, since May last year. I thought his career was over because he had back surgery or whatever. But looks like he might be coming back soon. So we could see, I'm guessing maybe in the fall, during September, October, maybe around there he comes back, or end of the summer. I don't know, we'll see, but he is he's fucking needed, man. He's better than 90% of the roster. Just being real. So whoever he feuds with should it should be a good feud, hopefully. He's one of the best. He's a legend too, man. Fuck. Good in the ring, great on the mic. He's desperately needed, man. All right. Um all right. All right, so SmackDown started off with a uh, tag title match. KO and Sami Zayn versus Pretty Deadly. KO gets a tag. He pretty much just beats the shit out of everybody. He cleans house. KO does a super kick and a cannonball. And then he does a swanton from the top rope. He went for the win, or he went for the pin. And then uh, Wilson break up the pin. Then KO hit a German suplex. He tagged in Sami. Sami hit a blue thunder bomb as soon as he got in there for a two count. Sammy hit an exploder suplex in the corner. KO hit a stunner, and then Sammy hit the luba kick for the win. So KO and Sami Zayn, they retained the titles. It was pretty obvious because they just won the titles at WrestleMania, so they've had the belt for like three, four months. Hell yeah, they weren't going to lose, man. They're going to have a long... They'll probably lose maybe in the fall, I think. So at that point, they'll probably have had the belt for tag titles in April... April, May, June, July. Um, yeah, probably August or September. Six months should be a good title reign for them. I don't know who they're going to feud with now because they, they just be pretty deadly and they beat the Usos at WrestleMania and then they beat them in the rematch. Maybe the Steve Profits or uh, well, those two henchmen with Gunther, with Gunther or I don't know. There's not a lot of tag teams. They're good. All right. Um, next up, we got uh, this was just a random match Austin Theory versus Ridge Holland. Theory hit the this was, it wasn't even that long of a match, it was like maybe three four minutes. Theory hit the rolling drop kick for the win. The three count after the match, Austin Theory attacks Ridge Holland, and then Sheamus comes out to make the save, and Theory runs away. And then next week, it's going to be Austin Theory defending the U.S. title versus Sheamus. This is just kind of random. No fucking story. Just a random match. No idea why they're feuding. Don't really care about this either. All right, next up, um, they had a video package in the back or a vignette for Karrion Cross and Scarlett. Pretty much just challenges AJ Styles. And then, so he's gonna fit, he's gonna face AJ Styles next week. The show's at Madison Square Garden. Next up, uh, Bailey defeats Shotzi. Didn't really give a shit about this. Bailey's spot was on the line or some shit, and then um, Bailey was getting pinned, and Neil Sky put a rope, her foot on the rope, and then the ref got all distracted, and then Bailey just hit her move, finishing move, and won. Didn't really care about that. All right, next up we had. Grayson Waller effect. This was probably the best Grayson Waller effect because LA Knight saved the fucking segment. Logan Paul's just brutal to listen to, man. I can't stand him. But yeah, so uh, 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 Logan Paul's a guest. He, he, uh, Grayson Waller asked him about money in the bank. He says he's going to win and shit or whatever and cash in on maybe Seth Rollins or Roman or whoever the fuck, whatever champion. Then LA Knight comes out. He says, you have proven a lot with everything you've been given. 
that's the key what you've been given i haven't been given a damn thing every time i walk in here the whole world feels it you can make a name on social media youtube you're standing in my ring the odds are on me for a reason to win the match and logan says you keep saying megastar megastar to who because all i see is a guy in front of me who was supposed to be a manager <laughs> that was a good shot by logan paul in WWE, after 20 years of a lackluster career, you're lucky I'm addressing you, Mega Manager. This is really good by Logan Paul. Because remember, he came in as uh, Max Dupree or whatever, and he was supposed to be a fucking manager and shit. So he's bringing that up. And then uh, Santos Escobar comes out. And then uh, he's like, uh, the two members from LWO are going to win both matches, him and Zelina Vega. And then Butch comes out. He pretty much just punches uh, Logan Paul, Logan, uh, Logan Paul in the mouth, and everybody starts brawling. Then back from the commercial break, it's a triple threat match, and Logan Paul sitting beside the commentary desk. And it's Santos versus Butch against versus LA Knight. LA Knight hit a DDT on Santos, and then he hit an elbow. He does that L A Knight. He does that, and then he does the elbow. Did that for a two count, and then. Uh, this was good. Uh, LA Knight and Logan Paul had a stare down outside the ring. And then, uh, so they're, these guys are stare, staring each other down. And then Santos does a suicide dive. LA Knight moves out the way and he hits Logan Paul. And then Butch sets up a ladder in the... Oh, oh no. Uh, Butch hit a... I forgot what his finishing move was. I didn't write it down. He hit his finishing move for the win. And after the match... Butch sets up a ladder. He climbs it. LA, LA Knight knocks him off the ladder. Then LA Knight starts to climb it. And then Logan Paul knocks LA Knight off the ladder. And then he, he tries to climb it. And then Butch, Butch knocks him off the ladder. And then eventually he climbs all the way to the top and grabs the Bunny the Brank briefcase. Butch is not one of the uh, briefcase. I know it's in his hometown and all that shit, but he's not winning. Uh, look, it's if... Uh, Whoever wins or whatever, Money in the Bank, whether it's Logan Paul or LA Knight or it might be Damian Priest, they should do a Logan Paul LA Knight feud. This could be real good. This interaction they had for like a one, one or two minutes on the mic, they were tra trading ja uh, verbal shots at each other on the mic. It was, it was pretty good. You know, this could be a good feud if uh, they decide to go that direction after the after Money in the Bank next week. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, next up, we got uh, Charlotte Flair and Asuka for the women's title. This was pretty much a DQ finish because Bianca Belair was like sitting rings or behind the barricade. She like, bought a ticket or whatever. She kept showing it off, just flashing the ticket out in front or whatever every time Flair and Asuka were like, near her. And then she interfered in the match. She hit the KOD on uh, both uh, Flair and Asuka onto the announce table. Pretty much for that. You don't really give a shit about that either. Just whatever. Oh, shit. I got to show that. I was doing that. Oh, fuck. All right. Uh, next up, we got the Bloodline. Uh, so the Bloodline comes out. Roman says, for a long time, for two years, I allowed my cousin to say, we the ones. Truth is, we ain't the ones. I'm the one. The only one. I'm the best. I'm the greatest of all time. I'm the only one who cares about my cousins. I'm the only one who loves the Usos, giving them opportunity after opportunity, allowed them into the promised land. And then uh, the fans started chanting, you suck, you suck. And then he's like, you get all, he got all pissed off. Like, I'm, I'll, show you the, I'll tell you the one who sucks, the family who betrays you. That's who sucks. And then uh, he says, I'm the only one who wants to give them a second chance, third chance, fourth chance. I want you to acknowledge me, bow down, apologize, and let's move on. And then you say, uh, Uso's music hits. They come out. Jimmy said, you think we're trying to get back in the bloodline? We must have got it twisted. Oos, we are past the apologizing. We are past the acknowledging. It's all about consequences. And the consequences are, what you haven't thought about it, what happens if you lose Oos? When the last time he been pinned? Three years ago. And then this is when Jimmy and Jay started going back on back and forth on the mic. This is when they're bet they're uh, best on the mic when they're going back and forth like this. And then uh, so he says, uh, 
So he says, uh, Jay says, three years ago. And then Jimmy says, when's the next time you're going to get pinned? And then Jay says, tomorrow night. Oops. Great. Uh, and then uh, I think Jay said, he, we go to war, money in the bank. When you lose, you're the only one out. Uh, Roman had a shirt that says the only one. Can't see it here, but put it said on his shirt. And then when you lose, you ain't going to be the tribal chief no more. And Jay says he don't want to be tribal chief. And then uh, Jay asked Jay, Jay asked Jimmy, you want to be the tribal chief? Oops. Jimmy says he don't want to be tribal chief either. He's like, I got somebody who might fit the job perfect. Even though we tripping. Keep on tripping. He he's tripping, tripping. He, he they kept repeating that a couple of times. And then he got he's uh they said he got our votes. And then they both look at Solo. They're standing outside the ring, and Roman and Solo are standing inside the ring. This is great. And then this uh, crowd started chanting Solo, Solo. And then Roman started laughing. <laughs> and then he got serious. Uh, Solo and Roman uh, had like a brief stare down, and then uh, Roman grabbed the mic. He said, shut your mouth talking to me like that. You think this is a game? Come on, man. Jay gets on uh, right here. Jay gets on the apron. Uh, Roman says, you are nothing without me. Oh, you and uh, he, they both check the mics away. This is when uh, this is a good uh, Roman talking trash. This is hilarious. Uh, Roman, uh, he says, oh, you're a tough guy, huh? You, you're the man, huh? Fucking hilarious. And then uh, uh, Roman, you ain't gonna do nothing, man. Uh, Jay Pye faces Roman. Jimmy super kicks Roman, and then they all start brawling. Security, all these security, like a bunch of twenty security guards come out, and then Roman starts. Uh, he he starts chucking those security guys in the steps and shit. And then yeah, that was pretty much it. And then they just brawl to end the uh, end the segment and uh, end the show. So yeah, it's a great another great bloodline segment. They were teasing Solo as his next tribal chief. So after after Roman and Solo are done with the uh, Usos, whenever this is over, I think it could continue after Money in the Bank. Maybe a fatal four way, uh, or Roman's gonna defend the title against Jay or Jimmy, or they could do a triple threat match with the Roman and the Usos at SummerSlam. And then it's going to be interesting to see how Solo, because when they're done with the Usos, how Solo's going to break away from them. So he could be the next Tribal Chief if they're saying what's true, but I doubt it. So he just got to the main roster and they're going to make him like a top guy right away. But yeah, so we'll see what happens. It should be the best match tomorrow at Money in the Bank. And then maybe the guys ladder match to steal the show. We'll see what happens. Or maybe a sleeper match to steal the show is probably Gunther versus Riddle. We'll see what happens there. So, yeah, that was pretty much it for SmackDown. See ya.